Hey everybody, welcome to a new video. So today I'm going to be talking about the Niger Triggerfish. And I'm going to be talking about, you know, what it's like for me to have one in my aquarium. Um, and it's not going to be a care video. This is not a care video. I just want to point that out right now. It's just a video on my personal experience with having one in my saltwater tank. I know I'm not a saltwater channel. I know my audience is primarily aquascaping, planted tanks, and all that, you know, uh, freshwater stuff. But I do have saltwater tanks. I, I even have a few brackish ones as well. So every once in a while, I do like to upload a saltwater video. Um, if you want me to do saltwater videos more frequently, um, let me know down below in the comment section. I'll be happy to do those. And if you have any suggestions for saltwater videos, let me know down below as well. I'll be happy to do those um, also. Uh, but anyways, let's begin. Um, you know, from a young age, I've always liked the Niger Trigger. Um, I live here um, in Hawaii on Oahu, and when I was young, I always used to go to the Waikiki Aquarium. And the Waikiki Aquarium has this really cool reef tank. It's a few thousand gallons at least. Um, it's kind of like a the, like a mini portion of the Great Barrier Reef in an aquarium. It's super cool. It's super fun to watch. Bunch of coral, a bunch of reef fish. It's just super unique to look at, and it's just a big community tank. It's honestly something I want in my you know house right now, but of course that's super expensive but if you've been to the Waikiki Aquarium you know which one I'm talking about it's the one with that giant clam um that they've had there for years and years um but anyways um wh when I always you know used to go to the aquarium and I, when I always used to look at the tank the fish that always caught my eye was the Niger Trigger they had one in or I'm sure it's still there so they have one in that tank um and it just looks super and I always thought it looked super cool um and that's the reason why I was so attracted to it because of the way it looked and the way it swam i love the way those like the the fins move um it reminds me kind of like a manta ray um or you know i don't know how else to describe it but i just thought it looked super cool you know um over my time learning about fish i haven't really seen much um you know other fish that have looked like um the niger trigger and the way that those fins move not really other many other triggers look like that or actually i don't think i can name any other triggers that you know look like the niger trigger so for me, it's just this really cool, unique fish. I just love the way that that um, that the Niger Trigger at the aquarium swam from, you know, the one end of the tank to the other. I thought it just looked super cool. And I always thought to myself when I was young, OK, I'm definitely going to get one of these when I'm older. And now that I'm older, I was able to get one for my 75 gallon tank. And I'm super excited. Um, I just have to say. You know, this is just the growl tank. I'm aware that um, the Niger Trigger does require a bigger tank. So eventually when this guy gets bigger, he's going to be moved into, you know, like at least a 125, 150 um, or larger aquarium because this guy does need its swimming space. But, you know, just like most saltwater fish and you know other fish, you know, if the fish is small enough, you can have them in a smaller tank temporarily and you grow them out in, in that smaller tank. But once they're bigger, you definitely got to move them to, you know, their recommended size aquarium. Now, I love this guy because it's peaceful, okay? It, you know, just like I was mentioning with the Waikiki Aquarium, it's with a bunch of reef fish like Antheus, damsels, you know, uh, tangs. I, I, don't know if it, I don't know if they had butterflies. I'm sure they didn't because, um, you know, it is a reef tank and, you know, the butterflies will eat the coral. But um, it was with a bunch of reef fish. So, you know, this guy is really, the temperament is really peaceful. That's what I love. I You know, my tank, I have my Niger Trigger fish with cardinals um or yeah i go with a bonga cardinal um and two oscillaris clowns um and the, the niger trigger doesn't bother them at all he's really peaceful he just swims and minds his own business with other trigger fish like the clown trigger for example um you know those guys tend to be really aggressive and you have to have them in a predator tank with like eels and other monster fish with the niger trigger fish you can have them in a community tank and i love that um you know he's super active he eats well I feed this guy um, brine shrimp, frozen brine shrimp, because, you know, he's still pretty small. Um, but he's big enough to, you know, the point where he can eat, like, clams. So I do drop a clam every once in a while, and he goes for that. Um, so he's really not a picky eater. These This fish is honestly um, really open to eating a bunch of food. You know, anything meaty, pretty much, he'll, they'll, they'll go for it. And I think that's really great. Um, another thing that I really like is the price. 
these guys are only like 30 to 40 dollars i paid 30 dollars for these guys i seen them yeah just in you know that like 30 to 40 dollar range um especially when you compare you know the niger trigger to other triggers like the clown trigger um you, you know you see that this thing is really cheap um because like clowns those things go for over like a hundred dollars um i work at a local fish store and we have a bunch of saltwater tanks that and we have a bunch of saltwater fish and our clown triggers are over you know a hundred dollars depending you know especially even more depending on the size with um niger triggers we sell those things for like 30 bucks 35 bucks depending on the size so yeah these guys are relatively cheap and really affordable and that's why i really recommend these things for beginners at my local fish store um you know because again they're peaceful so they can be with other fish and two they're cheap so um that's what i really like about the niger trigger so if you're thinking about getting one of these guys i just have to say that you should definitely get them from a local fish store especially and this just goes for saltwater fish in general um because if you do decide to get one from a chain store like peckle there is a good chance and always a really good chance that the fish has some sort of disease like ick or or something because um you know peckle they don't treat their fish um with medication like my local fish store we treat our fish with um copper which is a really good um you know medication to uh get rid of ick or marine velvet um, but peckle they don't do that there so there's a good chance that your fish may have you know some disease like ick or velvet and if you introduce the, a sick fish into your tank um your main display tank and that disease spreads to the rest of your fish you know your whole tank can crash the other fish could get it they can die you know, it's just not a good you know sight and that has happened to me i'm sure it's happened to the best of us so um always get it from like a local fish store because there's a good chance that they do a way better job at making sure your fish is healthy um, or just get it from a trusted, you know, source um, that, you know, you know, that treats, you know, their fish with medication. Um, if you don't have that option, you have to go get it from a place that you're not really, you know, um, confident with. And, you know, such as like Petco or, you know, just a store that you don't think treats their fish. Definitely set up a quarantine tank um, and, you know, quarantine the fish for at least a month, making sure that it's healthy, it's eating, no diseases, no sign of diseases you know, chew with medication, copper. Um, and if your fish looks healthy after a month, then you can add it to your main tank. But it has happened to me. It's happened to the best of us. We get a fish from like Petco or some chain, not, well, actually, I don't know if there's any other chain stores that sell saltwater fish, but you know, you know what I mean, right? From Petco and we introduce that fish to our main tank and it, you know, our whole tank crashes because that disease spreads from fish to fish. And it's just not a good site to have. So definitely make sure your fish is healthy. Um, and I bring this up because I know Petco sells Niger triggers. I know that they are sold there. Um, so yeah, if, you know, if someone was to watch this video and they were going to be inspired to go down to the Petco and get one, uh, I, I, don't, I just wanted to point it out that you, there's a good chance that that fish has some disease. So make sure you get your fish from a help from a you know a, a trusted source, and if not, set up that quarantine tank and make sure that fish is healthy. But anyways, guys, that's pretty much it for my video on Niger triggers. Um, it's my own. This is just my own personal experience and just me talking about it. I know it's on a full care video. If you do want me to do that full care video, let me know. I didn't think it was necessary because there's a bunch of care videos out there right now. So I just kind of want to share my own point of view of, of keeping one of these guys. But um, I appreciate you guys, you know, listening to me. Thank you guys so much for watching. Leave a comment down below. Leave a like. Hit subscribe. Um, and I'll see you guys in the next video.